And I think one of the incredible things is that a lot of us might be spiking, let's say, our our blood sugar mm-hmm. levels without even realizing it. Um, and that can, of course, lead to all sorts of long term issues, as we discussed, um, see, you know, insulin resistance and all of the chronic conditions we discussed. But mm-hmm. also in, in your day to day, you might be having several more tangible symptoms that sort of are all connected to that. Can you can you give us some sense of what someone, uh, you know, continuously spiking their their blood sugar and then crashing um talk us through what things they might be experiencing Mm -hmm. maybe when we uh when we eat a meal and then suddenly we have a craving for sweet this is one sign very often yes and it's not something like a habit but it's a, a real a real need to eat something more uh or feeling sleepy uh immediately after having lunch or um, not being able to function uh, as we should after eating a lunch or having a problem sleeping. These are some of the signs of having uh, spikes. Uh, poor sleep is, uh, can be attributed to a slight hypoglycemia, which actually something uh, our uh, body feels that something is wrong and uh, we wake up just with the urge to eat something again. And um, again, the food cravings are coming uh, because we, uh, we actually cannot regulate the feeding of our cells by having the insulin function and put the sugar in. So our body demands more food and we want more food to fill uh, the satiety. It's not actually satiety, but it's having our body feel that it is fed. It's something different. We may feel completely full but uh, again have the urge to eat something especially something sweet to cover our needs in uh, sugar and carbohydrates and i guess that also stems from the fact that you know when i was using a uh, you know now that i've been using continuous glucose monitor i often see that when i have something that spikes my sugar it will often then lead to a crash sort of um under the initial baseline let's say of mm-hmm. what it was so instead of having you know one of the things that blew my mind was when i you know i was having oats um breakfast oats and porridge sort of as a healthy breakfast um for you know for for you it might Mm -hmm. not have the same effect but for me for example it was kind of elevating my blood sugar levels and then making me crash even further down than before I had eaten which is definitely Mm -hmm. not what you want when you want to be having you know a breakfast that's going to give you a sustained energy levels Mm -hmm. and I guess that sort of even lowered uh, even more lowered blood sugar levels is also what then what causes you to want to sort of crave uh, something sweet or starchy or whatever because it's you know it's actually the case that physically your body wants to bring its glucose levels back up yes and uh, it's because we uh, as we have a spike uh, it this spike is created because our uh, body cannot regulate blood sugar by having efficient insulin so we keep on producing insulin and that eventually will function so it will bring rapidly our blood sugar down and we will have symptoms of hypoglycemia and these are trembling and uh, foggy thinking and uh, hunger, uh, cravings, all these that are connected with um, uh, insulin resistance, actually the, the signs of insulin resistance after eating. And um, especially these cravings are for sweets. Are, uh, we often ask our, our patients if they want the sweet after after a huge meal and the majority says yes it's and it's not just because they they have they have a sweet tooth but it's because they it's an actual need they need something sweet to bring again their sugar up Mm. so we shouldn't be too harsh on ourselves sometimes when we think that we lack uh, self-control and that it's all you know in the brain it's not always in the brain (laughs) 